I'll tell you what, Tina, that was a good time I had all weekend filming these videos with you. Well, it's been hot. It has been hot, but you know what? Not as hot as South Florida. That's true. No, but it's been beautiful. You know what? I, I think we cooked some really good stuff. That, that Wellington was just, it was freaking amazing. I'm yeah. glad you like that because yeah. uh, my family likes it a lot. Yeah. I do too. Well, I got a couple sticks for us. I got some marshmallows. I figured we'd end up the weekend. Yeah. Well, uh, marshmallows. What do you think of that? That sounds good. All right, cool. Now watch this. Ho, ho, ho. So I figured since I brought all this Fogo, let's do a campfire with Fogo. What do you think? 100%. All right. I'm just going to drop it all in. You know what? I'm doing the whole bag. Okay, whole bag. I guess you can put it in and light the paper. I don't know. <laughs> Probably so. I don't know if we need the whole bag. What do you think? We can always add more. Depends on how light you want to stay. All right. Fair enough. Super premium to the rescue. Okay, one there. I'll put another one there. Let's get it started. You know, we've had all that meat. Some marshmallows sound good. I know. Something a little sweet, right? A little sweet, yeah. I'm with you. So when you cook marshmallows... Do you like them just toasted or? So I used to be like a burn my marshmallows till they can't be burned anymore yeah. kind of guy, you know? And then um, as I got older, I guess I kind of went the other way with it. Really? I still like everything burnt. Do you? <laughs> I got a taste for char. My dad burned everything. Like hot dogs I like burnt. Ooh, hot dogs. You know, it's funny you say that. I grew up, so when I grew up, I grew up uh, on Long Island, you know? But we go camping in Vermont a lot. We went every year, every single summer, with like 10 other families. And we'd all bring our boats to this lake, you know. So we'd water ski all day on the, and out on the lake. And then at, ni at night, the parents would all kind of go to one thing, and the kids would all go to the other one. We used to build campfires, and we cook marshmallows. But like you just said, hot dogs. It made me just remember, like, cooking hot dogs over the fire. We'd do yeah. the same exact thing on like this, stick. you know. Yeah, we'd get a I stick. I used to like the double because I wanted to. That's yep, right. Yeah, exactly. Two so. burnt crispy hot dogs. Exactly. <laughs> yep, exactly right. So, well, we got some marshmallows. I think the marshmallows would be good. Like you said, I could use a little sweet after all that meat. For sure. So I noticed you got a couple wood chunks down in there, too. What, yeah. what are the wood chunks? You're going to laugh, uh -huh. but it's mesquite. Mesquite? Yeah, I, I don't care for the flavor of mesquite. Yeah. So I just put them in my fire pit and... Keep the mosquitoes away. <laughs> I mean, keep mosquitoes. You know, yeah. that actually makes sense. I'm not a big fan of mosquito either. I find it to be just a really strong, strong flavored. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, from the cheese smoking video, I don't like a super smoky flavor. You know, I like yeah. that that hint of smoke, that kiss of smoke. Yeah. You know, but so in Florida, what's the common wood that most people like to cook with? Probably oak. You know, the one thing you know, a post oak, like you bring it in mm -hmm. from Texas. But we have a lot of oak in Florida. There's yeah. just it's everywhere. You know, I think here is pecan and. And hickory. Pecan wood is nice. Pecan South wood is Georgia really nice. would be peach. Okay. Pecan and hickory would be predominantly up in this area. So I like pecan wood like for, for pulled pork. Oh, yeah. um, I think it's just great on there, you know. And it's funny because when I first got into smoking, I didn't think that it would be a lot of difference in the kind of wood that you use. Make, boy, it makes some difference. Well, just like you know? charcoal. Yeah, yeah. It makes I mean, a huge difference. Yeah. Then again, when I very first started, I didn't know either. I used, um, let's just say, charcoal that I got at a big box store. Yeah. And it was the least expensive charcoal I could find. And I was like, oh, this is great. Then I got a bag of Fogo. And it just, it all changed. I mean, it literally all changed. Same with me. You know, I'd never cooked with Fogo charcoal until I did American Barbecue Showdown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'd never used it. And then from then on, that's all I ever used. It's amazing, right? Yeah. It's good. I, I love it. I mean, I love it. I really do. I couldn't believe that the pulled pork today we did on the Mini Max only loaded it up. And still had charcoal left over. I mean, it wasn't a lot left over, but you know. I mean, how many hours did that burn? It burned for eight and a half hours, but I didn't realize that once we took the portic off, we left the vents open, yeah. so it was still kind of burning. So by the time we took the picture of it, a lot of it had burned off, but that was pretty cool. That's amazing. So, you know, we were, we were talking about camping food. <laughs> you know, when, I, when we would go camping, one of the cool things that we did is we always kind of wanted to have some kind of cool meals. We would have spaghetti night and everything like that, you know. Yeah. But one of the cool things that we learned there was what we called silver dollar dinners. Everybody probably calls it something different. But basically what we did is we took a piece of aluminum foil, mm -hmm. put some ground beef in there, some vegetables, some seasonings, you know, and usually some butter because everything's better with butter, you know. And we would just wrap that up, just wrap it up in a packet like that and throw it directly into the charcoals and just cook just like that. It, it, I mean, it's not the greatest meal in the world, but there's something about being out at that campsite, cooking on the open yeah. fire and 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 cooking it right in the coals, ha, 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 you know. We did something kind of like that, but my family didn't do this type, you know, 
they would cook on a grill. Okay. Or my mom, she's going to cook in the oven. Uh -huh. But we called them hobo dinners. Hobo, okay. But yeah. it's basically the same thing, but my mom's going to patty it out. Oh, is that right? Cut oh, no. the potatoes oh, no. and all that. We were 11, man. We wanted to eat. We wanted to play. We, we, we were far more interested in playing with the campfire than we were with cooking, you know? It would be like that foiled meat, potatoes, just throw it all in there, you know? Well, you know but, what? You know, we could actually do something like that. We could raid the fridge. We could raid the fridge and see what we got in there. Yeah. Let's see how the fire gets going first. We'll, okay. we'll go from there. How's that sound? Yeah. All right. I think I got some hamburger in there. You got some hamburger? Yeah, hamburger, hamburger meat. Hamburger? Hamburger meat. Got some hamburger meat? <laughs> I'm going to put my uh, my feet up and just chill. You know what? I like the rocking chairs. Yeah. So. I like these big ones. A local guy made these. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. It is beautiful here. I mean, down in South Florida, I think today was 97 degrees, and they yeah. literally had like 90% humidity. Uh -huh. So as hot as it was here, man, it's awfully nice. That breeze was really kicked up too. Yeah, the last few days that has, I think, made it a little bit better on this cooking. Yeah. You know, I don't know if, um, like, like that, like when we were filming, I don't know if they can hear it, but like that whole fountain down there, mm -hmm. it's very peaceful. Yeah. You know, just hearing that water run, I feel like there's a babbling brook down there yeah. or something like that. It does sound like it. Yeah. Yeah, they know. probably, I think they can probably hear it. This is catching pretty good. You want a marshmallow? Yeah. It is catching good. It really is. Now, I'll give you the choice since your house. Do you want the slingshot double barrel stick or the single barrel stick? I'll do single. You'll do single? Oh. I'll do single. Stick it. All right. You want another one? Do you go double barrel or you just go one? I'll do one. Okay. Because I'm going to catch fire. Oh. Eat the burnt part. Burn it again and eat the burnt part. Yeah. I like that. You're like, yeah, doesn't everybody whittle with a chef's knife? Hey, it works, okay? Can't believe we're using my knife for that. <laughs> if I didn't like you so much, you would not be. Ah. Uh, I don't even let my husband handle the knives. So that says a lot. It does. Yeah. My mom, God love her, she comes over and she always wants to help with the dishes. Right. And she thinks she can put all my knives in the dishwasher. Ah. Uh, uh. So I have to go behind her and just... Yeah. Take them all out. No, that's a big no-no. Yeah. See, now that's how I like mine, nice and brown like that. I know. I'm gonna get. I'm trying. I'm okay. Once you get out of my way, I'm gonna get right in that flame and I'm gonna burn mine. Go right ahead. You I'm do burning that. Burning it. You gonna go all Statue of Liberty on us here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh yeah. Perfection. Like an eight-year-old. <laughs> well, you're eighty. I'm eighty. See, look at that. That's yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I won't do like when I was eight when I eat it and burn my lips. Off. You like your you like your marshmallows like I like my coffee. <laughs> Dark. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Ah, memories. What is it about sitting around a campfire? It's just so cool. Mm. And good memories. Lots of good memories. You know, I'll mm -hmm. tell you what. Those days, like I said, we used to go to Vermont. We went to a place called Waterbury, Vermont, which is right right outside of Stowe, which is a real famous um, ski resort. But right in the town where we were at was where Ben and Jerry's uh, ice cream factory was. So, like, we'd be camping, and all of a sudden, all right, who wants to go somewhere? We're like, Ben and Jerry's! They're like, oh, we knew we shouldn't have asked, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> no, I've never, I've never been to, I know I say it funny, my husband kids me, Vermont? Vermont. Yeah, that's what I said. Not Vermont. Anyway, I've never been. I've been to Maine. You mm -hmm. probably know that once. I'm mm -hmm. going to go again in July. Mm -hmm. You went lobstering there, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we used to go to Vermont, but we also camped all over, and I also water skied all over. But like Vermont, I was a little known fact about me. I was a water skiing champion back in the day. That's how I moved to Florida, but I was a Vermont state champion for years running in the boys' uh, division in slalom skiing, trick skiing, barefoot water skiing. That's nuts. You yeah. know what? Mm -hmm. I have never... Skied. Come on, for Never. real? And my family had like a lake house, but I don't ski. Really? Where was no. the lake house here? Yeah. Lake Lanier? No, south of here. It's called Lake Jackson. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I moved to Florida and worked at a barefoot water ski school. And um, the owner had his school, but he started it at first up here on Lake Lanier. Then he moved it down to Florida. Where in Florida? Uh, lake Worth, Florida. It's just north of where I live now. It's really cool, though. It's kind of mm. neat. Working for a world champion, you know, kind of like kind of like sitting here with a barbecue champion eating marshmallows. <laughs> that burns your marshmallows. Uh huh. Mm. 
<coughs> hot. So you mm. did it. See, I didn't. Oh, good. I burnt mine three times and ate it three times. Mm -mm. So good. <laughs> you know what? What? That fire seems to be going pretty good. I think we should go re raid the refrigerator and see what we can cook up. You want to see okay. if we can make some silver dollar hobo, hobo dinners? Yes. Yes? Let's do it. I like it. So look what we're cooking. Cool. I like it. All right. Well. This could be like so, a work table. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Heck yeah, I like it. Yeah. This this thing is nice, actually. I like the fire pit with the grate over it. That's pretty cool. I think we'll, we'll grab this. I found this. I brought this giant link of sausage. It's a jalapeno cheddar sausage. Yeah. So I just grabbed that. I figured we'll cook this maybe right on the grate. and we'll, uh, I think it'll be great. <laughs> She's such a good audience. <laughs> all right. So now all here's right. how I do mine. All okay. Right? Let me have one You want to do one piece, piece right or here. double? Just one piece is good. Okay. All right. So what I do, I'm just going to use my bare hands here. I just take a hunk of meat, kind of drop it in here like this. Okay. That's probably more than too much. Okay. <laughs> That's what I do. And then from there, I just kind of layer some stuff onto it. All right. I'm going to break up some onion like that. Um, I sliced up some potato. I found two potatoes in there. So I sliced up some potatoes. Okay. I like potatoes. I like potatoes too. <laughs> I like peas and carrots. <laughs> All right. Hey, you want some peppers? Don't touch my food, lady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some red peppers. I even cut up a little bit of green. There was a half a green pepper in there. So, oh, you, got you cleaned that. out all my leftovers. That's good. Yeah, well, you know, it's a fridge dump. So usually what I'll do is I'll throw some butter in there, but I don't think we have any butter here. Oh, you want butter? Eh, I don't think we need it. Okay. There's we'll probably a lot of fat in the hamburger. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I used to like dump some um, Worcestershire, so we have some W sauce. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna pour some. I usually w have sauce some on. of that in my fridge. Like that. So do you want to use it? The SPG? Vegetable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the smoked SPG? Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of just salt and pepper. Yeah. Tell me when. Look, that's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All I do from here, literally wrap it like a present. Okay. One side over. One side over again. Make sure all the food is inside there. Okay. Hold it. Roll it like a package. Like that. Okay. So we make another one? Yes. Tina, okay. you put together yours now. Let's see how you're going right. to do yours. Okay. I'm going to be a little neater. Okay. Because you're a trained culinary <laughs> chef, I know. <laughs> so I'm going to make mine like a patty like my mama did it. Okay. Yeah. Of course you a are. Patty. Yeah. Who's, I, th I thought your mom's name was Sherry. It is. <laughs> Why do you call her patty? <laughs> I put a lot of that in mine. Okay. All right. Some onions, which I love. Potatoes, which I even love more. And we still can make another one. Maybe if we're really nice, we'll give one to the camera guy. <laughs> All right. So, you know, when we made these, Mom would put these, those little baby, not fresh, frozen corns on. Okay. It. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I could see that in there. That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, oh, and a little W sauce, of course. Gotta have the W. Yeah. Gotta have the W. I'm glad like, you found this. I didn't know I had any left. Like my buddy Bowman says, yeah, that W saw baby. <laughs> I'm going to fold it up. So how do you know when it's done? Because, you know, because it's done. <laughs> you know, it's camping, man. We All rough right. it. All mm -hmm. right. Sometimes it's a little more burnt than others. Sometimes the onions burn. Sometimes the taters burn. But there's always a combination of great flavors. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, I'm cooking some Woo! wieners. I'm going to cook some wieners. Wieners. Go ahead. Do it. Nice. All right. I got all enough right, to make right. another one, so I'll just go ahead and Do use it. up the rest of the leftovers. Might as well. Yeah. It's a fridge dump meal. Yeah. And this one oh, I won't hear, make as new. You hear him sizzling? Oh, yeah. That's cool. I like that. We're getting good flames here, too. Yeah. You know, I went on a trip years and years ago. Uh huh. And um, we went through the Continental Divide in Colorado wow. in a snowmobile. Yeah. And we made like, sort of like this, I think it was venison though, and put it inside the snowmobile on the engine. Oh, God. Yeah, and by the time we got to wherever we were supposed to stop, it was It was done. all cooked. Yeah. That's awesome. So using so, the heat from the engine to cook it. Yeah, it's 
kind of the same it. concept. It I is guess. the same kind of concept. Yeah. But it was uh, venison, ground venison, and Ooh. some other stuff in it. No, thank you. Well, it's Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Man, those things are really sizzling away. That's awesome. I'm just going to like clean out the rest of the fridge stuff and just load it all in this. Do one. it. Okay. So I don't know how we got the name Silver Dollar Dinner Smith, but my parents are both looking down right now smiling. They yeah. loved this. They, they loved it so much. I really think it's probably one of the reasons we used to go camping a lot. <laughs> well, it's kind of easy and the kids kind of all put it together. Yeah, the parents didn't have to do hardly any work. Yeah, and there's no cleanup. If you just ate it out of the foil. Exactly. So did y'all cut up the potatoes and everything like on yeah. site or bring them already? Yeah, no, them? no, no. Every, everything was on site. Because mm -hmm. we'd be, we'd literally spend the day like down on the beach. Everybody brought their boats. There was 10, 12 boats. So somebody was always skiing. And um, through that, we actually formed a water ski club and competed in that. It, it, was, it was really pretty. It was a fun, fun time in life. Of course, as you can tell, probably a lot like anything I do. Just like barbecue. I can't just have a barbecue. No, I have to have nine green eggs. You have eggs, to have you know? everything, yeah. Didn't you get another one, though, recently? Number nine. Yeah, number okay, nine. number nine. It's a 2XL. All right, you Let can fit that, that one, one in. Yep. And then we got sausages, too. So I want to know how you're going to get those silver dollar things out of the fire. Long tongue. So when we eat these hot dogs, are they since they're the Nathan's hot dogs, are they going to snap? They should. Okay. All right. There's a nice burnt one for you. Yep. There you go. And I'm eating mine, like I said, right off the stick. Of course, I hit the end of the charcoal with it. You're going to burn How's your that, tongue huh? off. No, I'm not going to burn my tongue off. Here we go. All right. Ready? Why is that so good? Why is that so good? Oh, man. It really is. <laughs> I miss being a kid. <laughs> oh, my God. It just brings back, like, memories. Like, you can remember the way things taste when you were a kid. No doubt about it. And then when a lot of people just cook, to cook because it's time for dinner. Yeah. This, this is truly, like, when we were kids it is you know like i mean mm -hmm. this really brings me back like i can picture mm -hmm. eating this sitting by the campsite I, mm -hmm. I can literally picture being there right now i can see my friends there we used to go we were really good friends mm -hmm. with this one family uh, their name was the Svenstrips, and their kids mary pat laurie and billy we would all sit around the campfire <laughs> with my sister donna and just mm -hmm. cook like this and then even the parents would go away so i got we'd sit by the campfire cooking hot dogs we'd come back the next day to be like all right we're having hot dogs for dinner and we're like mm, i don't <laughs> think so <laughs> Mm. Mm. That was so good. Perfectly charred for me. Mm-hmm. I, do I dare try flipping them? I don't know. I don't remember. This if is your to deal. Not. I'm gonna try flipping mine. My mom see. only cooked them in the oven, so I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, flip, no. I'm gonna flip mine over and see what happens. Okay. It's sizzling so much. I need another bite of my wiener. Mm-hmm. So good. <laughs> so good. Mm. You want to put the sausage over? Mm hmm. Yep. Got it? Yep. Beautiful. Can you still get to the. Uh huh. So I'm going to pull mine off and let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay. I don't know if it's done or not. It's only been. Five minutes? 40 years, 35 years mm -hmm. since I made one of these. Mm. How cool is that? Does that look good or what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See now, like the, I love what, like the bottom layer of the meat gets that nice, that nice golden char on it. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to eat this. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm pulling it over here. Oh yeah, baby. Even the potatoes got pretty soft. I'm, I'm surprised how much, how quickly they cooked. It's hot, Ron. Very hot. <laughs> We should have brought us a fork. Mm-hmm. They're gonna need a while. Yeah. I guess I'll. I would. I would let it go a little longer. Should I turn it? Yeah. You turn. Turn it. Mm. Okay. 
Mm. I'm gonna go get you a fork. Caveman style. Yeah. I'll get a, you want a fork? Yeah, sure. I'll go get one. I'm gonna wrap back up and put it back on. Keep it nice and hot. Get those potatoes cooking a little more. Potatoes could use a little bit more. All right, so you kind of know my story about uh, camping and everything like that. How did you get started cooking? What was your, how did, how did you get started into what you're doing? I mean, yeah, we were just down in the barn. You got 350 trophies down there for barbecue competitions. How did <laughs> you, how'd you get into all of that? Well, barbecue came late in life yeah. when I decided to do that. Okay. And that, but when I was 10 years old, actually, my dad got me a Weber grill for my birthday. Because right. that's what I asked for. Really? Yeah. Which I know is every 10-year-old girl asks for a Weber grill <laughs> for their birthday. Yeah, I know. So because he always cooked on it, and, you know, neighbors and family always hung out. So right. I think I always was kind of drawn to it because of that. Right. Everybody always came over, even though he burnt everything. Yeah. Everything. It doesn't matter. Barbecue yeah. brings people together. Yeah. And then, you know, going to brownies and Girl Scout camp. You know, you cook over, well, the boys did, cooked over the campfire, so mm -hmm. I'd always volunteer to help. That's cool. So I always liked it. Um, but I went to culinary school in Europe, and you knew that. Yeah, that I knew, um, yeah. You know, I think that was driven because what makes everybody happy? Hanging out, eating together, yeah. good food. Yep. You know, my dad where, was in the you insurance go, where, industry. Where in so Europe did you sucks. go to culinary school? Where did you I go? I went into La Varan, which is, is in Paris. Oh, wow. No mm -hmm. kidding. Yep. I think it closed in like 94. It was actually the oldest culinary school. Most people think it's another school. Cordon yeah. But it got bought out, like I think in 94 from Cordon Bleu. Uh-huh. Well, that's pretty so cool. So I did that for several years, worked in New Orleans and some big culinary cities, but barbecue was like a fluke. It was like, uh, I watched a TV show called Pit Masters. Okay. And, um, started going to barbecue contests uh -huh. and I thought well you know I can do that and I did evidently you were right <laughs> <laughs> so it was just it was totally a flip because I always like to cook on the grill and yep. cook an open fire but and I happened went to my first contest and I won cool which was nuts yeah you and won I, your first contest very first one in Lake Martin Alabama which is actually not that far from here because I'm pretty close to the uh you know, to the border here yep. of Alabama. And, um, you know, it's funny is the guy that organized that contest uh -huh. back then, I think it was 2010 or the end of 2009, still stays in touch with me. No kidding. Mm -hmm. yeah. If he knows, like, I'm going somewhere yeah. and, you know, sees that, he yeah. will show up. No kidding. Yeah. That's, see, I, know. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. You know, that, that's, that tells you what the barbecue community is. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's. Well, as, as much as you're in, yeah, as much as you're in competition and like that, you know, yeah. I, I went to Memphis in May. You you were there, yeah, yeah. And um, the one thing I noticed, you know, is that like people are like, hey, going over next door, hey, you know what? I ran out of foil. Can I have some foil? You yeah. know, whatever it was, you know, mm -hmm. and everybody they're competing against each yeah. other, and they're going here. Here's yeah. what I use. Use some of my stuff. You know, I mean, yeah. one of my biggest so my cool. biggest wins. Totally, I don't know if I did or my husband forgot two major ingredients. Okay. Uh, for our recipe. You want yours off? Sure. And so, forgot two major ingredients, and I ended up, the guy that loaned it to me was uh, reserve brand, and I was grand champion. No kidding. I know, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? That is, <laughs> yeah. That's great. But, you know, that just backs up exactly mm -hmm. what I was just saying. You know, they just, people, the barbecue community just loves to help yeah. each other. They're just yeah. kind people, you know. I mean, so many people, I think, that are probably watch our channel, mm -hmm. you know, all feel the same way. They love to do what they do because mm -hmm. they love to get on that grill, and it brings the whole family yeah, together, you know. Does. And Who's I, not happy? I mean, look at us. I mean, this is this is heavenly to yeah. me right now. You know, I mean, we did how many videos today? It was hot. Yeah. But you know, we're tired. Whatever. But what are we doing again? We're cooking again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, we could be inside on the couch in the air conditioning watching TV, but no. <laughs> we're out here. So, so I mean, but I mean. I guess yeah. You know, I guess we started the campfire to have marshmallows, but of course we can't do anything small. You know? <laughs> can't do it but um, look at that sausage; it's like bubbling. I know it. It's, it's so cool. You can, you can see it all inside I hope there. It doesn't oh, I love don't, the way that looks. Don't let it spew and hit us. It's no, like it's gonna spit. That is cool looking. <laughs> so what's it? Can you come over and film that one? It's yep. bubbling away inside the sausage. Mm-hmm. Woo! There it is. <laughs> Look at that sucker leaking. Oh my God, it's a geyser. It's a geyser. A geyser. Is it a geyser or a girlser? Uh, it's a geyser. 
It? A geyser or a girlzer? <laughs> okay, I get it now. <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. Oh, yeah. That's really done beautifully now. So the meat's all broke up. Yeah. So I like to grab a little onion, a little piece of pepper here, a big old hunk of meat. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color on that meat right there. You know that's going to be good. That's called the Maillard reaction. That's all the browning of the caramelization of the meats, sugars, and enzymes. Oh, Woo. so good. Oh, yeah. Careful, it's hot. Yeah. As my dad always said, cook with fire. <laughs> oh, yours came out so pretty. Look at yours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I'll trade you. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you make a picture so we can send it to Mom. Okay. Taters. Hey, Taters. Tater. They call me Tater, tater Salad. Tater Salad. Mm. Careful, it's hot. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So the fat, the fat from the beef, mm -hmm. it was like all in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Memories. No. Yeah. Think about it. Mom. It's not even like it's great. You know what I mean? But no, I'm but... enjoying it so much because yeah. I'm telling you, I can picture all those kids sitting around that campfire right now. I, it brings me, it literally brings me back there right now. I'm, I'm sitting in Vermont at that campfire. Mm. It's amazing. Oh, my sister's bothering me again. <laughs> <laughs> Ma! <laughs> Shut up, Ronald! <laughs> it was cool. We'd sit around. We'd, we'd play Spoons. It was a card game called Spoons. Mm. We'd sit around there and play that for hours, you know? I think it was the best thing, too. What? None of us had phones. Yeah. None of us had anything like that. We had to pay attention to each other and make our own fun. That's true. You know? It was such a great time. I sound like a real old man now, don't I? <laughs> it's true. You know what? That's okay. Mine's probably in there on the, his phone now. I, I, there's, to me, there's nothing wrong with appreciating the good times in mm -hmm. life, the simpler times in life, I think. Mm. That's what makes oh, this good. better. You know, like my mom, she cooks, you know, southern country style food, mm -hmm. which is not gourmet. My background is gourmet, right? Yep. I make French food, Vietnamese food, Korean food, you name it, I can cook it. My mm -hmm. husband tells people I cook some of the best Italian food he's ever had, including his mom, which yep. was Italian. But sometimes just some, the memory of something Yeah. when you were young, yep. well, it tastes better than all that fancy stuff that I cook. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's the way that a song can bring you back. I mean, yeah. I can hear a song. Oh my God. I remember like a car ride that I was in with my buddy in his car in 1987 or something, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. I can literally remember listening to that song and doing that, you know? Or like, did y'all do campfire songs? Sure, oh yeah. Yeah. John, Jacob, Jingle <laughs> Heimer Schmidt. Oh, no. not, not another beer in the wall? Um, one. <laughs> do you want to come in and get like a picture for a, for the um, thing? Like I could put this here. Now this is awesome, but. What? I kind of planned ahead. I got a special treat for us. I'll be right back. Okay. Campfire specialty. But I was cooking another hot dog. You cooked that hot dog. Okay. All right. I promised a special treat. I have the ultimate camping dessert. What? Graham huh? crackers. <laughs> chocolate, marshmallows, and I add a special ingredient to my s'mores. Peanut butter. Have you ever had peanut butter on no, your s'mores? I oh. You are in for such a treat. Okay. All right. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Move some stuff out of the way. Mm. All right. Yeah, I never had peanut butter on one. No. I love peanut butter. Well, who doesn't? I hope so. I found it in your cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> we come here totally empty-handed, just empty out her cupboards in the refrigerator. All right, here. I'll let you open those up. How's okay. that sound? I'll grab a couple marshmallows here. Let's see. You gotta be careful not to melt the chocolate. We gotta keep yeah. this far away. Yeah, sm s'more me. We can eat these, and then if we want, we can have some more. <laughs> Sorry, I have to use the whittling knife. The whittling knife. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. My hands are slippery from all the oil. Okay, how many you want? Good Lord. All right, so here's what I like to do. For my s'mores, okay. okay, I take 
three squares like that. Okay. And you got a system. Oh yeah. Break that in half. Yeah. Just use the arm, yeah. Okay. So we got three on there. Well, actually, whoa, 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 whoa. See, it's been a while. So I gotta, you know, gotta reacquaint re myself. First thing we do, a nice smear of peanut butter on a graham cracker. Mm. A nice smear of peanut butter. I call these my Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cup s'mores. Okay. And then three squares of Hershey's chocolate. It has to be Hershey's. All right. Yeah. Then I just kind of set it on the edge here and let it soften up and let it warm up. Okay. So let me do mine. Allow me to do mine. So anybody can make a s'more, but peanut butter s'mores are like next level awesome. Next level awesome, I tell you. Yeah, I wonder why they don't make, you know how they make peanut butter chips? Yep, I do. For know cookies, do. why do they not make peanut butter squares like this? I don't know. You should invent it. I'm gonna, I think I just did. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Now we need some marshmallows. I'm going to let you toast your marshmallows because I know how you like to do your marshmallows. Yeah, I like to burn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I go single marshmallow for my s'more. I don't know how you do, but no, I go single. I'll single it. Okay. All right. And you can do yours a little burnt if you want. Don't I, don't touch my marshmallow. <laughs> no course, no cross swords in this game. All right. Whoa! Oh no! Oh, that might be mine. No, it's mine. Stay away. Back oh, there the we go. Yeah. The fire is so hot now. Perfection. Perfection. Yeah. This Fogo Super Premium is burning hot, baby. All right. Mine's ready. All right. So all you're going to do now is just put it on the half with the chocolate, mm -hmm. put the other graham cracker on top. So here's how I do mine. Do it like that. Lay it on there. Put the other one on top, just like this. Squeeze and pull it off the stick. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. How about that? Mine's got some black on it. Ew. Because it's... Burnt, like it has I black like on it. Black from the char. All right, I'm ready. I'm I going in. I ate mom. Mm. Okay. Oh my god! The so peanut good. butter though makes it killer. Right? Have you ever used a Reese cup? No, but would that work? I don't see why not. You know, the, the only thing I'm curious about why it might not work because. It's not like real peanut butter inside there. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the real peanut butter. Once that hot Wait marshmallow hits it. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. This is an ode to my friend Roger LaDuke in uh, Colchester, Vermont, who taught me how to make these. Thank you, Roger. Peanut butter was the greatest idea ever on a s'more. Mm. Mm. Was that for a kid when you were a kid? Mm-hmm. How old were y'all? Yeah. Remember him from we, not long ago? We would go, oh, we knew the member. He's one of the ones that taught me how to water ski. He's, he's probably, him and another guy named Joe Malenfant mm -hmm. were probably the two most influential people in teaching me how to become a champion water skier. Yeah. And okay, s'more so maker. We'd be camping. And s'more maker. And s'more maker. <laughs> but we'd be camping and they'd come knock on the camper door at six o'clock in the morning, you know. All right, come on, Ron, the, the water's glass calm. All right, and we go out and my, uh, just about at the camper door, my mom would go, Brush your teeth first. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> but we'd hit that lake when it was just, I mean, glass calm. Mm. It was amazing. I've been blessed to have many great people in my life helping me and teaching me and, and showing me the way. So here's to you guys. Oh. Mm. I need a nap. I'm full. I know. Well, all right, Tina. I don't know about you. I'm freaking stuffed. No. <laughs> I really am. We haven't mm -hmm. even touched the sauce. I guess we'll probably eat the sausage tomorrow, but uh, right, the jalapeno cheddar sausage is going to be killer. So, but again, you know, it's always such a pleasure hanging out with you and, 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 you know, having us at your home and you and Bobby, I just want to say thank you to you guys very much, you know, and uh, I appreciate it. Fogo Charcoal appreciates it. And um, we just love you to death, you know, and um, barbecue, bringing people together. Wasn't for barbecue, we wouldn't know each other, right? That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. It truly brings people together. Yeah, see that? So, so, guys, let barbecue bring your people together too, okay? Cook something up. Share it with your friends. Have a gathering. It makes people smile. You know what? Even bad barbecue is pretty good sometimes, <laughs> all right? That's what so, my husband says. How do you, you know, what is it? Uh, to get good barbecue, it takes a lot of bad barbecue, right? That's true. You yeah, work so, your way through it. That's right, exactly. So, listen, 
Captain Ron and Tina signing off here. Remember to subscribe. Leave us a comment. I want to know if you've ever been camping. What's your favorite camping meal? Do you have a favorite camping meal? This is my new one. This is your new one? All right, we'll take it. So <laughs> anyway, like I said, we want to know what your favorite camping meal is. I love this. I hope that you did too. I know it's something a little different. Subscribe, like, all that other good stuff. Remember to get out and grill. We'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron. And Tina. Out. out.